It's September 30th, 2022. I cut down some sunflowers today um, because we may have 30 mile an hour gust uh, from the remnants of Hurricane Ian. So I took these down. I'm going to dry the heads. Most of the heads are spent anyway. But what we have here on the right is a wild sunflower. This originated from the USDA germplasm database. The um, plants were originally from Nebraska. Uh, they were growing in a roadside ditch, 14 to 16 and a half feet tall. This particular one is 15 foot two. You can see I have it from the base. Got the tape measure all the way down. Actually, a side branch is the tallest. That's actually pretty common with these. I usually find that the primary is not the tallest. So we have the 15 foot mark here, and we have them to about 15 foot two. You can see how sparse these are. That's pretty common with wild sunflowers. Uh, real stiff stems on these, different than cultivated type sunflowers. Very small flowers. Seeds are extremely small. Now, this one here was uh, 14 foot eight. This was one of my multi-headed giants. This originated in 2009 at my work garden plot in Princeton. Uh, I planted some seeds that uh, a sunflower breeder, Tom Heaton, had sent me. Uh, they were uh, ch of Chinese origin, very long season, sometimes flowered, almost near uh, late September, it was, it was barely could get seeds from them, uh, slow growing, very tall, single headed, but there were some multi headed semi wild ones that were self sowing in everybody's garden plots there. So I didn't know it at the time, but they ended up crossing. And when I tried to grow them in 2013 here in my house at my garden, the plants were all multi headed, but they were really tall. Uh, you know, almost every single one was about 16 foot. I think the shortest was 15, 10, tallest was 16, three, but they're all in the ballpark. Every single one was that way. So I've been growing them ever since. This particular one uh, may be a descendant because it was self-sown, I don't know, uh, of my 389 flower plant last year that was 14 foot two. Um, the reason I think that is it's very leafy like that one was. And that one, I believe, is a cross between my original multi-headed and these um, wild sunflowers that when they had crossed in 2020 and they produced that fl flower in 2021 that had the 389 flowers. Um, this had a six inch stem circumference. It's a really big stem on this. Uh, had some really nice sized leaves on it. You can see, see how big, you know, nice size. Very heavy plant, a lot of flowers. You know, as you can see, the flowers to these, these are much bigger flowers. They also have bigger seeds in them, quite a few. There was actually a larger head on this one. Um, that uh, for the primary head, I had cut that off a while ago. And then over here on the left, this is my tallest this year. This was also USDA seed. This is another wild one. It was originally 18 feet, two inches. Uh, cut all the heads off on it because they were, the seeds were all starting to fall out of the heads. So it's a little bit shorter now, not much. Um, so that was the biggest this year. Um, so these wild sunflowers can get pretty tall. In fact, I'd be surprised wouldn't be surprised if they could get 20 foot uh, This stood by itself uh, It could stand without any support uh, This big one in the middle here ended up tipping over Just bending because the weight from all the heads on the end. There were so many heads on this um, So and the critters were starting to go after it. So I thought it was a good idea to cut it so I can collect some I'll dry it in the garage and collect some seeds so, here's some uh, sunflowers this year. Had a good year with sunflowers, and see you in the next video.